some of my friends tell me that Romanesco is the ancestor of broccoli and cauliflower and that it is indigenous to Italy. I have no idea if that's true. I know from the shape and form that it's a cruciferous vegetable and basically I also know that it is my favorite vegetable of all the vegetables and coming from someone that works with hundreds of different types of vegetables that's really saying something. Romanesco first of all is the most beautiful vegetable that I have ever seen and the little florets here are also a perfect example of the Fibonacci mathematical sequence from how they grow. So essentially, I mean flavor-wise, it's kind of like broccoli, kind of like cauliflower, but it is much less bitter. It's very sweet. And of course you can just trim off florets like you would broccoli or cauliflower, but I'm going to show you right now how you can cut it into some different shapes to cook and basically just how to how to cut it in general first get a knife and you want to trim off the stem so you get the stem off take the leaves off Set those aside. Now from here, you can do a couple, you can do a couple different things. You can see that they're, it's separated to the stem by these large florets. You can just break the florets off. You can always do that. I'll probably save these. These make a beautiful, obviously, they make a beautiful pickle. They do turn, the shade of green will change a little bit to kind of an army green color, but really the uh, the formation of the floret florets makes up for that because they're so cool looking. So of course you can break it into florets, but then also what you can do is you can cut it in half and now the Romanesco can be used as the basis for a vegetarian entree and we can cook an entire Romanesco steak. Yeah, it's even good raw. So, to make a Romanesco steak, instead of trimming the florets, I'll just take my knife and I'll cut this into a wedge. Now, you can take this whole thing and then you can cook this like you would a wedge of cabbage or just a giant, think of it as a giant beautiful vegetarian piece of meat and you can get your pan hot sear your romanesco on one side sear it on the other side maybe put it in the oven like this because this part also remember this part is going to cook faster than this part uh, i mean a way that you could probably get around that like you were cooking a brussels sprout you could score the stem if you want to keep it whole, you could also just take your knife and just trim that part off. And that will also decrease the cooking time because the stem right here, this is the part that takes the longest to cook. But then while we're at it, the stem itself, in a lot of really, really nice French restaurants, in cruciferous vegetables like cauliflower and broccoli, they will actually call the stem the marrow of the vegetable. And you could have a salad of sauteed Romanesco decorated with little shavings of the stem or its marrow. And you could dress these just like you would a shaved piece of celery root or almost like just like a piece of lettuce and sliced really thin. It's delicate, it's mild, it's great. You could also cut the entire core out and cook it by itself. Uh, if you got in with a knife from the base and just totally trimmed around the florets. But any way you choose to work with it, this is the greatest vegetable of all time. It's Romanesco and enjoy it.